St. Basil's Church on the campus of the University of St. Michael's College in downtown Toronto, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents Daily Mass. Greetings and welcome to all of you. The televising of today's Mass is made possible by an anonymous contribution from Daysland, Alberta, and the Mass is offered for the souls of the faithful departed, especially for her husband and family members, and in thanksgiving for the many blessings received and for the physical, spiritual, and mental well-being of her family. And on behalf of all across Canada gathered for this celebration, we sincerely thank you. The Mass that we celebrate this day is that of Francois de Laval, the first Bishop of Quebec. And so as we begin, we should begin this day as we should begin all things. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. We take a moment to acknowledge that we are in the presence of God, and in God's presence, we ask for forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ. And Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, and may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. God of every nation, you sent Francois de Laval, your bishop, to proclaim the dominion of Christ, your son, to the people of Canada. Keep us faithful to our heritage. Make us and Christians everywhere missionaries of your kingdom and heralds of the gospel entrusted to us. We make this prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The word of God continued to advance and gain adherence. Then after completing their mission, Barnabas and Saul returned to Jerusalem and brought with them John, whose other name was Mark. Now in the church at Antioch there were prophets and teachers. Barnabas, Simeon, who was called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, Manaen, a member of the court of Herod the ruler, and Saul. While they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. Then, after fasting and praying, they laid their hands on them and sent them off. So, being sent out by the Holy Spirit, they went down to Seleucia, and from there they sailed to Cyprus. When they arrived at Salamis, they proclaimed the word of God in the synagogues of the Jews. And they had John also to assist them. The word of the Lord. i 
nations be glad and sing for joy. For you judge the peoples with equity and guide the nations upon earth. O God, let all the nations praise you. Let the peoples praise you. Let all the peoples praise you. May God continue to bless us. Let all the ends of the earth revere him. O oh God, let all the nations be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Although Jesus had performed so many signs in the presence of the people, they did not believe in him. And then Jesus cried aloud, whoever believes in me, believes not in me, but in him who sent me. And whoever sees me, sees him who sent me. I have come as light into the world, so that everyone who believes in me should not remain in darkness. I do not judge anyone who hears my word and does not keep them, for I came not to judge the world, but to save the world. The one who rejects me and does not receive my word has a judge. On the last day, the word that I have spoken will serve as a judge. For I have not spoken on my own, but the Father who sent me has himself given me a commandment about what to say and what to speak. And I know that this commandment is eternal life. What I speak, therefore, I speak just as the Father has told me. And this is the gospel of the Lord. Amen. 